Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another glorious episode of the Life of a Legionary Let's Play where we are fighting as one individual soldier in the entire Roman Empire, but it's not really an empire anymore. Unfortunately, after several wars against the Germanian people, they have been able to crush into Rome, taking settlement after settlement, and we are definitely on the back foot. On top of that, this is not from where you guys last saw the Let's Play unfortunately i had my saves on my other computer and then that got overwritten with some things again i won't bore you guys but basically i had to play through a ton from the older saves now that i'm back on my new computer with the new heatsink hopefully that'll sort out all of our issues and we'll be able to play and just have an absolute blast but yeah so i had to play a little bit off camera for the most part though we still own this settlement i just don't have the companions i have and my army's a little bit worse off we're also at peace at the moment which is nice i mean actually in that kind of old alternate timeline also still actually have this settlement in the north as well and we haven't lost the settlements in the south either uh, which again is really good so I'm in a great position now uh, to basically build up and and hopefully prevent any of this I also did give myself like 50 renowned uh, just to kind of get us back to where we were so when we do inevitably start the next war against Germania we'll be able to hit them hard right away I do also as well want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's basically just been commenting on this series I really do appreciate it like the last episode got over like a hundred comments and so many likes you guys are just absolutely amazing i really appreciate it please do keep that up and i'll try my best to maybe get three of these episodes out for you guys a week sometimes maybe even double uploading them hey that's a good task if we break a hundred comments and let's say 300 likes on this episode i will double upload yes you heard me right i will double upload this series for you guys on the channel so if you want to see that get commenting let me know let me know who the worst emperor in all of rome was and why down below in the comments that's great so let's dive into this hopefully massive battles today big engagements and obviously just improving our army non-stop one of the other cool things is as well now that we are using the diplomacy mod we can actually kind of start an independent faction we're not going to do that right now but once we start kind of preparing ourselves i will be looking to expand my clan expand my influence and of course overthrowing the empress once and for all looking at the diplomacy on top of that it does seem like we do have a non-aggression pact with the uh, hispanic romans for a little while okay that's pretty cool so we're currently kind of forming good relations with our our, our spanish roman brethren who are who are busy fighting the carthaginians and struggling pretty heavily to actually beat them okay cool i mean it'd be great to kind of form an alliance with the uh with the gallic romans but alas that's not happened oh also in this timeline the the gallic romans haven't lost all these settlements across the rhine yet either so they're actually in a still a pretty good spot whilst we're waiting though for the uh tournament sorry whilst we're waiting for another war to erupt we might as well go ahead and fight in some tournaments our stats are actually pretty decent now as well so i'm excited to see uh what we're made of especially and this is like great as well for just leveling up some of our stats on top of that so yeah i'm gonna continue throwing in these pelum obviously trying to break shields as much as we can oh my god we're actually getting our, our asses kicked right now luckily the the this pelum does a great amount of damage i need to like cross out and help our fellow guy let's block that really quickly i need to get over here and help this guy out oh my god this is not good okay i've killed him let's block around block that block that block up high i need to kill this guy on the left if i can but i'm not fast enough okay block block okay okay okay, okay. that was pretty embarrassing i'm not gonna lie as a newly founded leader of rome uh losing to, in the first round of the tournament just because i wasn't paying attention it's a little bit embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie, but people are gonna think poorly of me. Tell you what, there is only one way to correct that, and that is by showing the people that we are a glorious leader. And look at that, we have just declared war in on the Swaby people, so they're gonna be mustering their forces. So are we, oh my god, they have 10,000 strength and we have 3,000. Okay, this is definitely going to be a war of attrition. Let's see who we can recruit and for how much. Okay, so you're 32 for 100 men. I think that's an absolute bargain we have 182 influence in total we'll definitely take some of these smaller stacks as well they're not the best in the world but they're, they're like for their cost they're pretty good okay and that gives us 70 i can grab these guys as well we'd have about 600 men and we have a little bit left to kind of build the army up okay i'm i'm fine with that i'm fine with that do we also have any companions yeah that's something as well oh yeah i haven't actually messed around at all with my settlements okay whilst people are forming up we're gonna head north really quickly and we're going to build up our forces. One of the downsides is I don't think I have any of these elite... Oh, I do have some of these elite soldiers. Okay. I have one or two of them. Okay. That's fine. 
Do I have any of these guys? No, none of these guys either. It's because you need the highest ranks to get these guys. And I basically have none of them. Okay, we're going to have to win some battles. The annoying thing is, it means that we actually have less party size because of it, which is a shame. We just need to ba we basically need to just level up our army. Okay, let's go up to our settlement, see if there's any companions there we can pick up, and then obviously prepare ourselves. I'm not sure if we're going to be on the defensive or offensive to begin with. Uh, we'll have to see, obviously, get people buy food. Uh, we're going to have an extra 75 men, okay. So let's grab a couple more of these weaker tier soldiers. Uh, yeah, every man will will count and will buy some food and then yeah, it's just we ride out to war I guess that's like one of the really good things about the service of soldiers You build up such a big fortune So when you do finally retire and get landed it, you're just in such a great situation like right away uh, straight Yeah, basically right away. Okay, so in total we're gonna have about 450 men I guess we want to start from the south and work our way up are they at war with anybody else as well? Out of interest at the moment. No, just us. Okay, that's a little bit scary. But yeah, I guess we want to head down to like Napoli and just start working our way up because they're going to be big cities for us to take. I'm just a little bit scared. They're then going to push on us and try and take us out. And, oh, I should come here to recruit these soldiers. Yeah, I totally forgot that they had a massive, massive upgrade. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, and we've just gone ahead and recruited the Scythians. That's nice. One thing as well, I would love to see. I mentioned this in a previous couple episodes, but it's just such a cool idea. And that the more I've been thinking about it, the cooler I think it is. How amazing would it be if you could like recruit mercenaries and they would join you as like in an army, but not necessarily in an army. They would either just follow you around or they would just join you as if you're in an army, but you're not actually technically in an army. Instead of paying influence, you're paying like gold to keep them in the army. That'd be such a cool way of like you being able to increase your party size early on. Oh, are you going to attack? Oh, let's go. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, let's do this. We don't need to fight this one. So we'll just send the boys in. But nice little sort of easy victory right there. But yeah, that'd be such a cool feature, right? Being able to do that early on. Uh, nice. We'll be able to get a couple upgrades. Nothing crazy. And a prisoner. So we'll probably go dump her inside of Rome really quickly. I'll just take the food. All of this stuff is pretty useless. Ideally, we need to get our stewardship up. Okay. So I might head back to Rome just to stick her in the dungeon. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll head down. I would love to be able to recruit, like, some more people. Yeah, now we can get the Scythians in. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm just a little bit scared of my influence as well. 23 influence for another 63 men. Yeah, I guess. I think we're going to need every man. I imagine the garrison in Napoli is going to be pretty big. Okay, and we'll also get some influence by donating her as well. So that's also not a bad idea. Yeah, that's five influence. Okay, cool. That's not a bad little boost. And we also gain some relations, which again, don't get me wrong, is going to be great for when we do finally go independent. So definitely look forward to that. Oh my God, every time the game saves, I literally clench and just wonder if my PC is going to turn off. But I think my new cooler has dramatically helped out. I can see the temperatures now and it is way cheaper. Funny story about that as well is I have mounted the heat sink but upside down and it has a screen it's a corsair one so it actually does have a screen uh which is kind of funny what's their garrison like here 200 okay cool let's do this if they bring an army they bring an army question is do we try and smash the walls down or do we just go i think if we just go yeah i think if we just if we can destroy all their artillery on the walls and we just go the catapults will just demolish us but if we can just like smash down the gates i think we'll be in a very good spot okay so let's uh let's do this i'll probably just focus on building like trebuchets because they can clear walls pretty quickly and then also give us some good advantages during the battle we just be very careful that no enemy forces are on their way but yeah i've mounted my heat the wrong way around and i forgot to implement uh, one of the cords into the corsair controller so i can't flip it uh, which they have on their app which is kind of funny and because my my 4090 is vertically mounted it covers all the hdi uh the, sorry the usb 2.0 ports to my motherboard so i have to then take all of that off and it's a whole deal so right now i'm reading the heat upside down on my on my pump which is kind of funny probably not many of you guys cared about that but it's a story nonetheless but i think you guys should know okay i think so like one thing i wasn't even thinking about being completely honest is actually my uh my cohesion it is dropping fairly quickly i've just spent probably the last yeah, I literally spent the last amount of my influence just now to keep this high. So we're going to have to build a third trebuchet and then just go. I don't think we physically have enough time to even wait for, you know, wait for a wall to be breached anyway. So I guess I might do that and then I might switch to building a battering ram and then we leave it at that probably. We also are losing men to disease or whatever it is. We are losing men, which is a real, real shame. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just do this. We'll get our third battering ram, uh, sorry, our third trebuchet up. We'll let these guys, they should be enough. We have three, don't we? Did I not click it? I must have misclicked it. Wait, what? I moved into reserve. Are they... Oh, they both have to step up now. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Okay, let's let them do their thing. They should be able to clear out the walls quite nicely. Destroy the equipment. Yeah, 
And I think, they're down to 170 men now. Okay, do, we are building a third one. Let's get a ram. I mean, maybe we can make a breach in the time. I doubt it, right? But I mean, so far, they're doing a pretty good damage. But yeah, I think we definitely need a ram. Oh my god, they are, oh, they're starving. Yes, the garrison's starving. Oh, but my settlement's under siege. My settlement is under siege. It has a good garrison though, right? It must do. Okay, this is... Yeah, it's a tier 3 settlement as well. So I think we, ha we have to... I don't know if we can wait to starve them out here. And we have to just build... Yeah, build this ram and then we go. And then we have to rush north. Our army's almost broken as well. Okay, we have to go now. Oh, I have a catapult. Let's destroy this quickly. Come on, destroy it, destroy it. Okay, wait till daytime. We go and then we rush north before the army breaks as well. The army's very close to breaking apart. Let's do this. They only have 24 men. Okay, Okay, there's literally no point in us fighting this one. Let's also resolve this, and then we rush north to defeat the enemy in the north. Yeah, starving out that garrison was pretty crazy, actually. Um, I didn't even realize they were all set up like that. But we'll take all the upgrades, of course. Uh, and nice, I'm happy we took this, but if we lose our settlement in the north, that is going to be so bad. Okay, we're here. We'll, of course, show mercy. We could take this for ourselves, but the thing is, I want the AI clans to get stronger so that we actually have more soldiers inside of Rome. So I'm going to decline taking this for ourselves. We already have our settlement in the north, hopefully, still. Um, and yeah, that's fine. So let's drop off all the prisoners. We could sell them. We just don't need money, right? So I'd rather the influence, because if I can keep this army together... Oh, we've got so much influence there. Boom! Okay, okay, we're so back, baby. We're so back. We'll sell our prisoners still to the dungeon. If there's any room, there might not be after this massive battle. Um, yeah, we can actually... Good, okay. So there's six more influence. Again, that, that could be enough for an entire tick of keeping this army together. And then we have to rush north, right? Then we have to rush north with what we've got. 350 men. Uh, we'll, we'll save people along the way. I might try and recruit an extra soldier... And yeah, they've only got a they only got a battering ram siege tower. So chances are, what's our garrison here as well? Six hundred people. So chances are they'll be even if they they attack right now, they're going to be there for a while. So we need to get there asap though. So let's start heading north. Is though as we are moving north, the AI is constantly recruiting all the soldiers I want to recruit into my army. Oh, the question is, can we recruit any more of these guys now? No, we can't. Right? Yeah, still no max upgraded soldiers yet. It's so uh, frustrating. None of you guys, no cavalry. Yeah, literally none of these guys. Okay, I mean, that's fair enough, right? The army is very fresh. We've only literally fought in a, a battle against, like, a, a handful of crappy soldiers. Um, I guess we could maybe think about getting mercenaries, maybe? No, there's a few too many. We don't really want the cavalry. Okay, let's just keep on heading north then. Oh, let's also see. So who's going to win this? It could be anybody. Oh, my God, if the queen takes this. Oh, my God, she took it for herself. That is crazy. She is a tyrant. She is an absolute tyrant. Okay, we need to rally up and do something about her. I mean, we've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. But, yeah, we'll hit all three of these settlements. How's the siege? It looks like the siege is still just going on. The artillery is hitting it. Okay, that's fine. If only we had a governor as well. Man, that resetting the save really did mess us up. These are good Romans as well. Nice. We'll recruit all of them. Uh, let's just hit here, and then that'll probably give us enough to get up there. Uh, and remember as well, we have... Oh, God, someone else took him. Okay, that's fine. We'll just take crappy soldiers. Oh, we also took this keep as well. Man, we just can't catch a break. I mean, taking back Napoli is going to be huge, right? If we can break this, if we can break this siege of probably like a thousand men, and then we can take Ancona back, then it's only Batavium, and then we've really pushed them out of Italy. That's going to be a pretty big achievement, if I do say so myself. Napoli rebelled against us. Okay, that's that's a fish for a different... Like, we can deal with that later. We just need to stop the Germanians first, I think. Uh, let's pick up as much infantry as we can. Uh, yeah, as many Roman infantry as we can. Okay. I mean, I think we're just going to have to camp, right? Because they're going to have a lot of men. Yeah, 1,200 men. Grant, we have 600 men here. We could actually maybe think about breaking into the garrison. Honestly, slipping past, we're going to lose like 100 men. But if I have 700 men defending, there's no way they take this. But I'd also like them to commit to the siege as well. Like, that's also a thing. I'd love for them to commit to the siege so we can kill them here. I don't want them just to break this army and then go south and attack something else. And we just lose men for no reason. I think we're going to try to do that. Hopefully, they'll stick around. But let's get inside of the settlement, right? Let's just break in to help the defenders. Uh, we're going to lose 50 men now. That is, that's actually not that bad, honestly. Um, it's just going to be it's gonna be across the army as well, right? So go ahead with that. That's fine. I, I wish you could choose the soldiers you lost. Like, I feel like you should just be able to do that because it's so frustrating doing this. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Cool. Can we get to command this, the defenses now? Yeah, we do. Okay, so we've got three catapults. I mean, let's bring it on. Let them come. 
Um, we could also sally out as well or try and ambush them. Yeah, if we ambush them, we can destroy their defenses. And then I think it forces them into an attack afterwards. I'm not sure if that's been patched, but hey, we're going to use every exploit to our advantage. Okay, here we go. The gates are opening and the cavalry are pouring out. So our, our, our only goal here is to destroy the siege engines and then retreat back. That is our literal only goal. As of right now, they only have 30 odd men here. They will gradually get more reinforcements as we push out in the settlement. So hopefully the cavalry will continue to filter out the settlement. Of course, breaking down their defenders as well is going to be important. We don't really have a lot of infantry right now, but we can come in. I think killing these guys is going to be pretty important as well. So I'm going to try and just try and whittle down their numbers. My horse is very close to dying. We need to pull out of there. We need to pull out of there ASAP. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, the thing is as well, everybody does have spears, so we need to be careful as well. Let's just go in there. I'm going to try and distract them and let my allies kind of do the damage. He's going to try and hit my horse, I think. No, we pulled out of there. That's fine. Unfortunately, did not get the kill there. Yeah, let's just, as I said, keep on trying to kill them. My horse is very close to going down. Uh, we can even throw some of these javelins as well in, at the enemies. And as our people dismount as well, they become pretty brutally uh, deadly and accurate. So, yeah, more cavalry now pulling out, which is fine. We now our sword, but I might even just dismount here. Try and kill this infantry. Try and get my horse close by so we can retreat if we need to. Okay, that's the siege tower destroyed, which is good. And now we're retreating. Let's get out of there. Oh, my God, I can't get my horse. No. Oh, my God, I can't get my horse. Run. Flee. Flee for your lives. I think more of our reinforcements are turning up now as well. Get out of here, boys. Get out of here. Some of our reinforcements are acting as a fall on hope. Get out of there. Just run. Okay, I think we just got... Yeah, we got out of there just in time. Holy, that was close, man. Uh, the AI really did put up a good fight towards the end there. They really did. Uh, okay, let's see what they got. It doesn't... Okay, it doesn't force them into an attack now. Interesting. Oh, well, at least it slowed them down. Hey, they have a ram. What? We destroyed that ram. How, how did they manage to do... Okay, the enemy army is running very low on food now. They have eight days worth of food left. So they're either going to break the siege very soon or they're going to... Uh, yeah, or they're going to attack. Hopefully they attack, man. I would love to fight this siege. And I kind of feel annoyed if they don't attack because... This could be a great opportunity to just destroy this army. And boom, there they go. They're attacked. Let's do this. Okay, this is the siege for, for my castle. My settlement is under siege right here. And we must do everything in our power to hold the goddamn line for the glory of Rome. Okay, here we are on the battlefield. I love this settlement breakup. These are some of my favorite settlements to defend. Uh, so we're, oh my god, they destroy our artillery? They almost did. Wow, okay. So sorry about that. That was extremely bright. So I'm hoping that I managed to uh, make it a little bit darker for you guys. Okay, so they've got artillery over here. Load me up. If I can get a good strike in off on that infantry, that'd be great. And then I think we switch all of our focus in on that, that siege tower. So let's try something like that. Is that going to be too far or is that going to be perfect? Oh, that was perfect. Look at that. How many did I get? 25 of them. We love to see that. Artillery coming in. Oh, they broke it. Okay. Pretty smart by the AI, right? Pretty smart by the AI to focus down our artillery. Uh, actually, really smart by them. Okay, that's fine, but that's fine. Soldiers! Let's get back on this one. It's annoying I don't get to command every soldier in the army either. Uh, okay, let's set up here. We're going to be able to hit this because that's what we need to make sure that we do. Yeah, okay. We hit it. 2,000 damage on the on the objective. Um, yeah, it's really annoying we don't command the entire siege. Like, it's my castle. I should be able to. Uh, either way, somebody loading me up. Somebody load me up. I guess I'll do it myself. Let's do it. Let's load up. Nope. I meant to plug that in. Okay, that's fine. I don't think we're going to have enough damage at this point anyway, right? Yeah, especially now that I missed that. I think we honestly just save our ammunition and just start killing infantry. Uh, really. Okay, let's just load up again. Yeah, I think I do just, like, focus down that infantry. Maybe the ram would be a good place to defend. No, I think... Oh, what do I do? Yeah, I think we maybe just try and, like, hurt the ram, maybe. Oh, that's such a bad shot. God damn it. I'm wasting all this ammunition. I'm pushing us on the left-hand side here. And somehow, they've actually been able to, like, get up here. Where's our defense on this left-hand side? And they've barely got any soldiers, which isn't bad. Yeah, and the artillery is hitting over there as well. Okay, I mean, we'll just accept it. Oh, I must have my unit size turned down. Okay, cool. I fresh installed the game again to help with the stuff, so our, our unit size is set on 500. I'm not going to complain, honestly. It is what it is. I'll make sure I turn it up to 1,000 next uh, next episode. Or, sorry, next uh, battle. But, yeah, sorry. Did not realize that was a thing. For now, though, we'll have a javelins come in. Uh, I've got eight javelins to throw, so we might as well start using them. You know, if we destroy a shield or two, it's not going to be a bad idea. If we get any hits on these guys, that'd be pretty decent. Yeah, look at that. Destroy the uh, dudes coming up the siege tower. They're pretty vulnerable right now. All part of the wall went down as well. Not good. Yeah, so, much, so many javelins coming in. Here they come. 
Okay, I'm going to try and keep a bit of my, my javelin volleys. Yeah, we should be doing okay there. We're going to be getting up the ladder soon enough. The nice thing is as well, every shield we break with our, our javelin throwing as well, it just make it a bit easier uh, to hit them, you know? Because it just makes yeah, our soldiers here way more accessible to come in. We have a javelin going in the side. Love to see him. We're already pushing. Okay, I don't think, honestly, I'm needed here. I might go to the gate realistically. Yeah, I'm very tempted to go in on the gate um, and just try and help out there. Doesn't seem like the AI really has tons of... Uh, I mean, they're getting more reinforcements and stuff, right? And we'll pick up the javelins to throw back at them. But it doesn't really seem like they have too much to really stop us here. Again, I guess not having their number advantage like they should. I mean, it's not really, though, because as the defenders, we get more men as well. We start off with more men. So, actually, them only having being able to bring in half their army would actually be... We'd be at, we'd be at 500 regardless. They would just be getting a steady stream of reinforcements. So, really, it doesn't actually help them too much. It is beneficial, but I'm not going to lie. You know, it is way more beneficial to me uh, for them to only be able to have 250 rather than 500 men at a time. Even, though, even if we would have more men as well, we'd have our full 500. If not, even more. Because I think the defenders get a massive bonus uh, to how many men they can bring. Okay, let's go have a little look. See, see how the gate is doing. I want to see from the actual, like, arrows. Do we know how many arrow slits in this? Well, I guess not. Maybe it's a floor down. Must be a floor down, right? Sorry, this is super dark. Even for me, you guys must be blinded. Let's have a look. We've got a boulder left. Uh, oh, okay. So we actually pushed out. We rallied out and pushed them back. Okay. Yeah, I think we're... They're reinforcing, obviously. But we're currently killing three to one. So that's not a bad little start, right? Yeah, we've got so many men here as well. Yeah, they got barely anything. Okay, we're pushing out again. I mean, let's do it. I'm, I'm happy. We've got some soldiers out here. Yeah, look at that. We've got like a bunch of brave warriors. We're pushing down the ladders as well. I mean, this is really bad, right? But if we're going to get into a bit of a scrappy battle, why not? We can get some more javelins as well, utilize them, and just try and hit them. I wish I could um, select all my men and just get them like down here, but they're going to probably just die, you know? I probably should have them like following me around. My soldiers get here if you guys can. Yeah, this is what's going to be a problem is like these guys coming up. Well, I'm getting some men out here now. Okay. Break his shield really quickly. Pull out my Gladius or my, my cavalry sword that I currently have. Not actually as good as a Gladius is. And our job, yeah, we took, what, him, this guy, like, four times. Here you go. I've got my nice little squadron of men. We can help, like, defeat these guys quickly. Uh, yeah, so boys, uh, just, just go aggressive here. Charge, charge these guys down whilst we can, you know. Then we're going to probably retreat inside before, I think. It'll be a good idea. Yeah, because they'll be getting more reinforcements momentarily. My boys are just here to gain some battle experience. As we said, they were green coming into this battle, right? So we really do need to try and take down as many of these guys as possible. Oh, there's a lot more coming. Okay, let's fall back now. Everybody fall back. Fall back, fall back. We can throw a javelin or two. Yeah, there's a lot more of them coming in. Maybe archers, though, which is not bad. Okay, can I combine these guys into two groups or into one group as well? That'll make my life way easier. So yeah, ooh, everybody get into one group. Basically, everybody. Let's get into one group here. And we'll just hold this position for a little bit, you know? We're going to get by the looks of it overrun. But it's not the, the worst thing in the world. Okay, now we need to push out. Go aggressive. We need to push out. We need to stab with our weapons. There's artillery coming in overhead. Did you guys see that? Going to be aggressive here. Try and push him off. Even if we go down... As long as the battle is won, that's all that matters. Okay, I'm faster than this guy swinging. Oh, there's so many of them, though. There's so many of them, though. Okay, we're just going to run. Cost. Yeah, okay. That, that, was, that was to be expected, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we still put up a good fight, right? We've killed 400 of them so far. Uh, we just need to keep up the pressure, right? And we'll use this Pelum now uh, to start slashing away at the enemy. This is such an effective weapon to keep the enemy at range. Um, we'll just, yeah, wall them down. We're getting loads of kills now as they push in. I think they're starting to bring in a lot of their weaker units. However, there are still soldiers in chain mail that were able to uh, pinch it down quite nicely. We made our way over to this left flank where they are being really aggressive, trying to get over these walls and into the ladders. Well, the ladders are proving, you know, obviously a mighty defense. A few of their soldiers are making their way in. But if I reinforce this, this should be enough to really push them back. The great thing is as well about RTS camera is that we're currently playing as a low tier soldier. So every kill we get on this cult, uh, soldier counts for the entire squadron. And boom, look at that, they're running. Let's go. Let's go. Victory is ours! Victory is ours!
does. That is a beautiful sight, if I do say so myself. And what's even more beautiful is that 21 renowned we got. I managed to get a ton of skills as well. Not actually as many as I would, I would have liked, but enough. And yeah, they're all fleeing now. 600 dead, uh, which is, well, 350 dead, 280 severely wounded. A few other, oh my God, he got 148. He got 47. Good for him. Good for him. Okay, so these are the results afterwards. Uh, we managed to get a bunch of soldiers leveling up, which is really nice. We also managed to capture two prisoners and obviously all of these people as well, which we are, of course, going to take. Uh, we can't actually take many of them. I guess I'll take any Romans and all the, the, the Germanic Cav as well, because I wouldn't mind having a contingent of, like, Barbarian Cavalry as well. So we might stick them all over over there. And obviously the Romans will take. Obviously, I know we're over our limit right now, but we'll sort that out. I imagine as well, yeah, we're going to get a ton of loot, none of which we really care about too much if i do say so myself like i'll take the resources i'll take the horses i mean everything else is like ah we don't have the perks yet to sell it but we're like infinitely rich so i don't really care about money so we'll just do that and nice we'll return to our settlement oh their army is tiny now i did lose my entire army doing that that's annoying yeah that's actually really annoying but what we could do is we could try and chase down that army quickly I'm sure everybody else from the settlement will be thinking the same thing. So let's just sell off all the resources we just got. Again, I wouldn't. I love to have this in the settlement regardless of a price because it just buffs the settlement in general. So it makes stuff cheaper and better for us. We can then recruit this entire squadron up to 58 men again. Does that now also give us any soldiers to upgrade? So we can. We can get one of you guys, one of you guys. We can't get a, a Pillars Prior yet. I guess we're not the highest clan rank. And any elite cavalry we can get? No Praetorians yet. No elite cavalry. Okay, that's absolutely fine. We don't need to care about that. The extra manpower we get basically is fine. Okay, we're definitely going to take the extra throwing uh, from formation. Our leadership went up to 100, which is good. And this gives us the extra renown from battle, which is massive. You saw we got, what, 20 renown from that battle? In future, what, we're going to be getting 30 extra because it's 50% more, right? So we're going to get an extra, well, you're get extra 10 renown from them battles. That's going to add up really, really quickly, uh, which is going to be nice. Okay, let's see if we can catch this army. They're going to come at me, actually. Okay. Boys, we could literally go and just hunt this army down. Okay, they're going to escape. That's fine. I'll let them. I will allow them to escape just this once. That must be going doing good for our, our war further, right? Yeah, I mean, it is, right? Yeah, we've cut their numbers down from 11,000 to, to 8, 9, basically. But, I mean, casualties, raiding and stuff is still not looking great. And our war exhaustion is high. And I assume you want our war exhaustion to be lower than the enemy's. Okay, so we still need to do a lot of work here. And annoyingly, losing all them soldiers isn't going to be a great help. Uh, but it is what it is. Okay, now we pop out here and we hunt them down. Let's go. Yes, we got him. Okay. Uh, again, not... Oh, this is their leader as well. Oh, I'm not... I'm too wounded. Okay, we'll just send the boys in then. We're going to lose a few more men, but we get some tactic skills, I think, from this. So, And we also get this babe to be, be in our debt. So that's never a bad thing, right? I mean, look at them lip. Got, we're also over our limit as well. So let's go sell it, give these prisoners to the uh, the dungeon really quickly. Uh, not that it actually, actually matters. Well, definitely the lords matter. Uh, and I'll keep the Romans. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's what it is. Uh, donate. Oh, it exceeds party. Okay. Okay, we can head south maybe with our prisoners. I mean, I don't really care. Yeah, I don't care about... Like, I just want to put the lords in so they can't recruit more soldiers is, is the main thing. But yeah, let's head down south, down to Rome, I guess. Because we know they have a lot of very good soldiers. Uh, and there's a rebel's demand. Oh, sorry, I clicked that away. I should have read that. That was my bad. I'm just too used to it, you know, uh, at this point. Let's definitely go just look to hit the, like, the high quality villages really quickly. So we can try and grab as many elite pre uh, elite soldiers as possible. Even though I imagine they're going to be pretty sparse. As basically, Rome is just replenishing its armies after that huge battle. Yeah, only one of them is still here. That's fine, though. We also gain eight influence from that. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. And we also gain some relations as well. So all that stuff is nice. Let's go just recruit some more men. We need to get up to full strength. And then let's start hitting. Some oh, that's beautiful. I mean, these soldiers aren't good, but they're, man they're, they're, they're manpower, right? And that's all we need. Okay, we have 78 influence. Is there anybody we can recruit? There's a few people we can recruit. Not a lot. And they're expensive as well. 60 men will take you, 65 men will take you, and we'll take you for 21. That's all of our influence, and it's not a big army. I doubt we'll be able to take a, a meaningful settlement with just this. Uh, but again, we'll maybe be able to start hitting some of their armies. Defending our settlements as well is also pretty important. And yet all these guys are just being recruiting. Do we want all of these auxiliaries? Are they going to turn into cavalry? I guess. It's not the worst thing in the world having 
a ton of cavalry in your army, right? Let's go back up to our settlement. We'll, we'll kind of rebuild. Or what we could also do is give over some soldiers to the garrison. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know why I didn't think about before. Okay, let's go to the keep. Let's go to the garrison. Let's... We have a garrison? Oh my god, we have a garrison. Okay, that's something. We can upgrade half of you guys, I guess. And we'll give over the rest to the garrison, I guess. Yeah, I mean... I guess that's what we're doing. I really would have thought we would have more soldiers there, but I, yeah, no, we don't, we don't. Okay, that's fine. I guess it's all just uh, militia. No, we do. We have 180 men. Can I not take men from the garrison anymore? So nay, I guess not. I guess they fixed that for whatever reason. Not that it was really ever a problem. Oh, we got a medic. Okay, cool. Welcome, my friend. Well, no, we do need strange. someone. Even though I think you're Spanish. What uh, culture are you? Yeah, you're Punic. So you're Carthaginian. Yeah, you're Carthaginian. That's fine, though. As long as you can heal my men, that's all that matters. I don't mind. Soldiers in the Alps are definitely where the quality is from this castle up here. You get some really, really good soldiers. Oh, there's also a party being chased here as well. Yeah, there's a caravan. Can we stop it? Or is it... It's, okay, we can hit this caravan. Again, it all adds to war exhaustion. So I don't mind actually hunting it down. And it's not a battle we necessarily... Come on, someone, someone take it. Oh my god. Wow, you guys absolutely suck. How? I mean, I've got a big old army, so that's my excuse. But how did you guys not capture it? Let's just grab the last couple soldiers that we need. That should actually be all of these guys. And then, yeah, let's head out. Let's move out. We'll have... Oh, what's the point of even recruiting you, man? It's 21 men. You must have been hit by someone. Okay, then we need to find out where their armies are. I would love to take this, but I just don't think we have the manpower. So that means we have to... Yeah, that means we have to basically look for battles to gain more influence, to gain more soldiers, and then push on from there. Okay, I think we managed to trap a few of these armies over here, which is nice. I think one little rat might escape. There's no way the other Stop one does that. And it drags in him as well. Cool. Okay, again, these aren't like these aren't like massive battles. These aren't going to win us a war. But if we can just take more prisoners, that does reduce their war exhaustion. And we are going to fight this one as well because we've only had one. I mean, even granted it was an epic siege battle. We've only actually had one proper battle. That guy looks dope as well. Okay, well, let's start commanding a few of these guys over to the army. They can each command that, and then we'll probably put everybody else with the cavalry to help buff that up. Actually, I'm going to lead the infantry, and I guess you guys can all go with the cavalry, because I assume you're all mounted, even though it says you guys aren't mounted. Commander isn't mounted. Are you mounted? Yeah, there you go. Don't know why she's... Oh, because she's a mercenary company. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, to be fair, I get to command everything anyway, so that's not really a big problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to form a nice little gain formation here, and we're just going to blitz them. Again, don't really need to do too much because we are, we are like so heavily outnumbering them. So we can just push on this one. But yeah, normally I'm going to be trying my best to make these battles as interesting as possible. Do cool formations and that will hopefully just outmaneuver the enemy. Let's send our cavalry in right here, but we're going to hold fire. We're going to get really close, throw our javelins and then just pour in. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's just going to do devastating damage to their ranks. And they're just not going to know what really hit them. Okay, they're throwing javelins at us. So let's form up here. Because they're coming at us now. And then you guys return fire. Right, all their cavalry's coming as well. Hopefully it doesn't waste our javelin throw. I just want to see how much damage these javelins do do. And we've got, what, 200 men throwing them all at the enemy. If we don't get a ton of kills, I'm going to be very disappointed. I mean, I guess as well, it's, it's more about just breaking shields. Like, really, it honestly is. It's all about breaking the shields. Okay, now just push through them. Push through them. The nice thing is about the wedge as well is if you go and do the engage command, which I didn't do, you kind of do force a fight into the enemy and the flanks really curve around, which is such a nice way of approaching the battle. We're going to continue to level up our throwing. This is a skill I really do want to get up to max rank because you can just basically one-shot the best soldiers in the game with 200 throwing. It's like not even close. And it's really powerful as well. Okay, charge now. Just like finish them off. You guys are backing off too much. I messed up with my commands. That's fine. Just envelop them. Uh, and finish them off and I'll go off and deal with these archers and kill the cavalry. There is only four horsemen here, so it's not like these guys are, are really going to build much of a fight. Uh, but we'll come in anyway. The cavalry should do a good enough job. Look at all these javelins in the ground. And there you go, the infantry are finishing them off. And it's, it's literally just a handful of horses now. So hopefully we capture both of these lords. We can go return them back to Rome as it's on our route. I'm also coming in here to scout out the castle Ancona. Uh, to basically see just how many, how much of a garrison. I'm going to expect about 400 men. Which is something that we just do not have the manpower to deal with right now. But hopefully we will. You know, hopefully we can continue to win these smaller engagements. And that, that powers us up. Granted though, even if, even help, if. Oh, hello, good friend. Nice, good to meet you, my friend. Uh, oh, we've got some cavalry as well if we need it. Uh, I guess we'll take a veteran caravan guard. No reason not to. Um, I just... Yeah, we'll take some of the... Uh, we'll definitely take some of this cavalry. This is their noble cavalry. So we'll definitely be taking that. 
to, to hopefully recruit. And I guess this cavalry as well. And we'll leave the rest. Uh, I don't really... Yeah, I don't really want to commit into enemy cav properly quite yet. Oh, this is actually a pretty interesting banner as well, right? This is decrease sh take, uh, shield damage taken by 15%. And obviously, we're playing on an older Eagle Rising patch where shields break like after one hit, basically. So I wonder if this will stop that from happening. Uh, that could be really interesting, honestly. Uh, we should also maybe try and outfit this Carthaginian surgeon with some, some stuff as well. I mean, we could outfit him to make him look like a proper Roman, uh, even though he is just a surgeon. Uh, I mean, he does look pretty cool. Yeah, get rid of that, that curved sword. You are now a, a leader of men, okay? So one of them did escape, unfortunately, and we're not going to be able to catch him. He's a one-man party. Ooh, they're sieging us across the river now. Okay, well, let's head to Rome. Let's recruit what we can, and then... Yeah, we'll go look to beat that army. We are now winning in the war exhaustion as well. I mean, if we could win this, this was really helped. Even if we don't take everything back, because obviously we lost Napoli to goddamn rebels. But even if we don't necessarily take everything back, just the, the sole purpose of like winning a war where they have to pay us will hopefully help the AI parties actually get back on their feet. Because yeah, right now they are just not doing good. And look at that 18 renown from this, uh, sorry, 18 influence from this guy. Okay, that's pretty juicy actually. Can we then uh, maybe recruit someone? Okay. Oh my god, Era. I mean, you're eventually gonna marry me, and we're gonna we're gonna overthrow your mum. But 86 men for 13 influence. Don't mind if I do. Is there anyone else like that I can grab? Uh, 18 influence. Oh my god. I mean, yeah. So the reason why these guys are so cheap is because they absolutely adore me. All these clans like me like plus 100. Okay. Now we're cooking with the gas. You guys are cheap. Yeah, super cheap. Okay, let's do it. We're going to need all of these soldiers. Nice. I'm, I'm really happy as well that I've got my previous lord with me. We are going to have to pay 21 grand to ferry us across, but it's a, it's a worthy sacrifice, right? We have to get across here. And they have a lot of men there as well. They're currently attacking the fortress. Um, okay, what do I do? Do I sneak in inside the fortress to defend this, or do I wait for them to lower their men? And then we attack. I don't even know if we can even support them because the settlement is under... Oh, we can break in and help defend. We'd lose 74 men and I'd lose this entire army. I honestly might go for a field battle. Because the thing is, if we if we weren't going to lose all of these guys in the army after the battle, then it would probably accept it. So let's let them whittle them down. They should do a great job at killing these guys. And I say that, they are kind of struggling. If they can get them down to about 700 men... And again, a lot of the good soldiers would be wounded. Then I think we might go for it. There's no one else we could recruit either, right? Yeah. There's 17. We just don't have the influence, unfortunately. We might be able to get it as we are gaining one a day if seven days go by. But yeah, I think this is it, right? Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's maybe go and visit this town quickly and then rush back north. That should give us enough time. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you guys might have laughed at me, but the extra 10 men might actually really, really help. They're down to 200 men. So we're going to probably have to attack when they're about 100 soldiers in. We are also healing as well. Our morale is really high though, which is nice. Okay. They're doing a great job actually. Okay. We might have to get this battle even better. 140. Yeah. I think we go now, right? I think we go now. Let's do it. Let's assault the camp. Okay. It's going to be a much closer battle, but Kind of like this. I kind of like that it's closer. 600 versus 600. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Let me change my unit sizing really quickly. And then we're going to dive in and fight this battle. Oh, this is so annoying. So because... Oh, that's so annoying. So because... We're going to fall back really quickly uh, to the river. But because we are um, fighting a defensive battle, I can't then reform up these soldiers as quickly as I would like. Okay, it's fine. We'll still do it. So I'll pause it so I can still do this. I wanted to have the entire screen so I could talk about a massive defense. Either way, we're going to split our infantry into two blocks, I think. Yeah, we're going to split our infantry into two blocks. We're going to have our main, which is going to be our block in the center. You guys are going to be in shield wall, and you guys are going to basically be here to hold the line. Um, I don't think this is a battle where we can be quite as cocky, and we, we can actually do like a um, a full-on like a, a full on like uh, uh, triaxum battle where we have three lines of infantry varying. I kind of need the beginning. But yeah, let's do this really quickly. Guys, get out of shield wall as well, I guess, whilst we're moving. Oh, God, I did not mean to tell you guys to charge. Uh, yeah, get out of shield wall and, uh, yeah, move you, your asses over to here. Yeah, let's do something like that really quickly. Uh, and then we have all of... Oh, it's a ga is that the garrison? Okay, that's the garrison in front of us. Okay, that should work then. So what we're going to do is we're going to let them come closer. The garrison has a lot of cavalry. Luckily, we have this river flanking us, so that's at least something. Yeah, that's at least something. So we're going to form up like here and we're going to have our other line yeah, set up like here, I guess. So we have rocks behind us if we get outflanked. You guys can go. The cavalry can obviously push out to the flank. 
That's going to be a big problem for us. And then these archers can just get up here. So let's fall back again. They're going to take all the javelins. They're going to take the, the brunt of the assault. That is a lot of enemy infantry. Okay, they're, they're already assaulting our cavalry. So yeah, cavalry go over. All of our infantry hold the fire. I do not want any of you guys throwing a single beelum. I said a single beelum. Okay, now you guys can form a shield wall. And we're going to basically use this, this, this flank to kind of wheel them in, if that makes sense. I'm going to come over here and help kill as much cavalry as I can as well. More of his cavalry we whittle down, the stronger we're going to be. Because this, all this cavalry is like full-on skirmisher cavalry. And it's not a nice one to have to deal with. And they have really good, really good abilities. And I'm hoping we can just like draw the enemy in and just smash them down that way. They have, they have some really good cavalry. Okay, okay, okay. So you guys need to turn to face these guys. I want you guys to save your ammunition, though. So yeah, you guys turn. I'm going to come in and hopefully save you guys. And then there you go. Okay, our shit was fine. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. You guys, if you can, throw some javelins at them. Give them a volley. It's kind of a bit of a waste, right? I feel like. They've got their backs turned to us, though. So we might do some damage. Yeah, why not? They're, they're pulling back, I guess, after maybe just defeating our main block. I mean, our infantry line, both our infantry lines are in shield wall, right? Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. I like that, I like that, I like that a lot. They're pulling back to, I guess, reform, which means we need to now reform this line again. Because they're obviously turning. Oh, there you go, yeah. And then over on this flank, this flank is kind of a bit split up, right? Maybe I form a square with these guys. Yeah, I'm going to form a square with these guys. Let's do that. I need, need these guys to hold the line. Because a lot of them, jow, yeah, the javelins are going to be the biggest problem, right? Okay, that's fine for now. That's fine for now. Let's just keep up, keep up. We're going to need to obviously like, break these guys down as quickly as possible. Okay, and everybody fire at will now as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna engage with these guys in shield wall still, though. So we're going to push forward a little bit. Throw off the RP them off as well. Do as much damage as possible. But they're going to stay in that shield wall, which is the most important thing. Our other line is, of course, getting harassed. We'll take him out quickly. Our other line over here is fully surrounded. But that's exactly what we want them to want them to think. That they've got the advantage. So we need you guys to hold the line in that shield wall. And I know you guys will. Because we're going to break this flank. And then we're going to come full smashing into them. Yeah, we're already like crushing these guys effectively. Which is nice. They've somehow got into us. I don't know how. Let's maybe like break. Yeah, let's break formation quickly. They like somehow turned our backs. I think the engage command is a little bit bugged, but it's fine. Obviously killing all the enemy cab where we can. It'll be nice. Oh, they killed my horse. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Boys, where are you going? Stay here. Yeah, stay here and kill these guys. Yeah, you guys are just charging now. Cool. Let's throw these javelins off. Pull out our sword as well. But a lot of these Germanians are very skinny. Not that it's bad, but they could go, go do very good for like a bolt or something. Let's kill this guy quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Kill more quarter horses as well if we can. Nice, we're killing the horses quite effectively. Okay, now we need to get our line over here. So you boys form up here. I want you guys disciplined and formed up. We do not, we do not run to battle. We are Romans, okay? Obviously, we'll try our best to kill as many of these horses as possible along the, along the way. But let's get over here quickly. Let's form up. And we're going to come crushing. Obviously, we're getting hit in the side by arrow fire. It is what it is, you know. We are Romans. We do not run to battle, as I mentioned. And we might even draw some of their lines off. Yeah, we are drawing some of the tension now as well. Let's get over here. I still want you guys to form up until the back line arrives. Oh, there's still a bunch of soldiers there as well. Yeah, a lot of our line is still, like, over there. I did they? Oh, you guys are still charging. Okay. Yeah, there seems like there's like a thing with the AI where it doesn't fully take your command. Like, we're charging in now. That's fine, though. We'll charge, charge, charge. Let's keep on pushing. Okay. And then we want these guys to go into line and just charge. We'll push forward now with our main line here as well. And this should allow us to completely envelop them. We've still got boys fighting over on the left flank. But yeah, you, oh, we're taking a lot of casualties now. Like, a lot of casualties. Let's take my cavalry now and just tell them just to focus down the enemy archers. Yeah, we're losing like a lot of men over there for whatever reason. The arrow fire as well. We need to try and close that down, I think. Let's just help out here as much as we can. Let's peel them. There's so much damage. I'm killing a ton of these guys in the side. We are getting hit by arrow fire, but we need to be careful. Let's take him out and maybe fall back. Oh, that enemy cavalry, man. Yeah, that's also causing us a lot of problems. Our cavalry is now trying to deal with their archers. But again, the amount of arrow fire coming in is just brutal. We need to try and clear up this infantry as quickly as possible. I say as quickly as possible. Uh, it's taking a little bit of time. How many javelins do we have left? Just for two? Okay. Take that. 
And we'll keep one just to deal, help deal with cavalry. Especially like cavalry like this. Good job. Good job. Yeah, the auxiliaries are actually pretty good for dealing with cavalry as well. Our cav is still harassing. Doing a lot of damage. It's that flank. We're about to be hit pretty hard in that flank. We need to deal with these guys so I can turn. Yeah, only 60 of four, four of you guys survived. Okay, yeah, that charge command was a, a mess. Yeah, I think I think what's happening is that you actually have to tell them to move, to stop charging. Previously, you could just tell them just to form up and they'd be fine. But yeah, now you actually have to tell them to, like, form up. No, they just gone back onto charging. Like, what? I don't want you guys to charge. I told you guys to move to position, no? Yeah, move to position, please. Like so. Okay, maybe I messed up. Maybe I told one side to charge when I shouldn't have. Because you guys are still on charge. You guys can push forward, honestly. Let's push forward this line. Maybe you guys go deal with the archers. And then we've got one flank, our fourth flank, moving to position. Okay, I must have messed up then. 90% of the time, if something's not working, because I messed up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's finish these guys off. Enemy Cav is harassing. But we're getting a lot of kills here. Hey, how you guys doing? We're closing in on the enemy archers. If I just tell you guys, like, literally charge them. Do they have any more reinforcements? Doesn't look like it so far. Okay, we hit him with a javelin. We hit him with a javelin again. I'm just trying to level up my throwing skills. Okay, doesn't look like we're going to take this guy down anytime soon. Let's pull out a sword then. But imagine if he killed me. There we go. Cool. How are we doing over here? You guys are still busy chasing. Yeah, this is just charge now. You guys should be in a good spot just to keep on charging. We march us down. Our cavalry is still harassing. There's a horse for me here. Okay, we have a little bit of infantry left. Okay, so we need to deal with this cavalry. We need to deal with the archers. That's all they've got left in this army. Once that's done, that's going to be a big blow to the enemy line. Boom. That's one down. Let's just focus down as many of these guys as we can, especially this, these dismounted units as well. Always going to be a pain to deal with. Horses, obviously, taking men down is going to be big. And, of course, the armored soldiers like that. I do not want to die after this engagement. We've done so well. 36 kills on our part alone is pretty good. And nice. Now we're closing in on the, the archers. We're about to deal with them very, very effectively, man. Yeah, there you go. Ripping them apart now. Yeah, we need to really kind of dispatch infantry in these battles as well to, like, deal with the archers early on. Because they did rack up a lot of kills on us as we, we got enveloped and our backs turned by the AI and stuff. So I don't think our cavalry is, like, good enough to deal with them quite yet. Boom, though. Won the battle. Nice. Birdie influence is going to be great. Birdie renown. We must be close to the next clan tier as well. Like, I'm not going to lie. That must be within our grasps, uh, which is going to be awesome. All these prisoners as well. That's more influence. Uh, nice. And we'll take as many as we can, right? Yeah, as many as we can. Big upgrades. Our army's like dying, but they are upgrading, uh, which is good. And yeah, I'm tempted to keep some auxiliaries in the army realistically as well. Because I think that'd be really worth it. Because they kill cavalry super effectively. They really do. Let's see if we can catch them before they escape. No, they're going to be able to get out of there. Okay, cool. It is what it is. We're not going to be able to catch them. That's fine, though. Uh, we'll come here. We'll drop off some prisoners, add some more troops to the garrison. And again, once again, send them packing, you know. We're, we're winning these battles and we're winning these wars. Uh, but yeah, sorry. We're winning these these, these wars. But we're not necessarily winning the battle. Sorry. Wrong way again. We're winning, <laughs> we're winning the battles. We're not necessarily winning the war. Uh, you know, we've taken a castle from them, which we're going to have to take back from rebels. That's not going to be awful, but I'd love to maybe take back one more city from them. If I can take Ancona, I would say that this campaign has gone great. This, this initial episode has just gone awesome. But we'll see. The war still rages on for a while yet. Um, yeah, no more room. Okay, let's head back to Rome, I guess, then. We are going to have to pay once again. L luckily, it's cheaper because we've lost so many men. Um, but yeah, let's get back over here. Uh, the army itself can rebuild as well. Like we are going to be getting more raw recruits. Uh, and yeah, I guess we look to see what Akona is. I, I meant to actually see what the garrison is like there. Uh, it's probably around about 400 men, as I, as I said. Um, but it's fine. Let's drop off some more prisoners then in the dungeon. Again, we're starting to get quite a, quite a, quite a pile of them now. And we can even grab some of this cavalry as well. We'll drop off all these archers. Uh, we'll keep the cavalry. That's light cavalry, though. Do I care about light cavalry? Yeah, let's just take the extra influence. Okay, cool. I like it. Ooh, look at that as well. We formed an alliance with Scythia. That's an interesting alliance, right? Like, unfortunately, it's not going to help us in this war because they're not going to join. But yeah, we've joined the Scythians. Is it because they're also at war? Yeah, they're also at war. Okay, this is good then. Yeah, this is really good. We have these guys supporting us, bringing in more soldiers. That's going to be a big help if they can start drawing soldiers northwards. And we might be able to steamroll this. Yeah, oh, only 230 men. Okay, yeah, let's go recruit some more men and we're immediately going to come here. That will be for next episode. So if you guys are enjoying this series, please drop a like and a comment down below. And as I said, if you guys get this, what, 100 likes, did I say? No, sorry, 300 likes and 100 comments, then 
yeah, we will do, I promise, a double upload day. It might not be the next episode, but it will happen in the next couple. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see that, drop a like, drop a comment down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.